Welcome to Your Money, Your Life. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Miss Sandra. How are you today? I am great, and I hope you are. Yes, ma'am. Doing well. Uh, Thank you. I'll bet I know what we're talking about today. Yes, ma'am. It is I time. Bet you do. <laughs> yes, I'll bet so. It's so important, Cheryl. The viewers need to know everything they can know about Medicare. It's we say this every time. It's complicated. And we need somebody like you to help us disseminate everything and know what um, what is going on and what to sign up for and all that kind of stuff. Now, when is Medicare enrollment ending? The open enrollment period is going to end on December the seventh. So there's still you know there's still time left. Yes. Changes. And I'll tell you, I'm going to touch on three or four things this morning that. I'm seeing, you know, as we're out here and, you know, people are talking with us and, and we're helping folks out what the the big issues I think that, you know, we've encountered the most. I'll give you one example. Uh, one of the things that we've done a good amount of has been to rewrite people with Medicare supplement plans. Okay. And that's a little bit different because it does have medical underwriting with it. And I think you will see here, I'll just tell you about the one I did yesterday. Uh, I had a man who was age 76 and his premiums on his supplement had gotten up to around $225 a month. Mm. So, and this gentleman had heart issues. So his health was decent, but not spectacular. Right. And I was able to rewrite him with the same coverage he had, and instead of him paying two twenty five a month, he's now going to be paying one hundred and fourteen dollars a month. Wow, that is a huge yeah. difference. Yeah, that's, that's thirteen hundred thirty dollars a year difference, and it's the exact same coverage, the exact same coverage. Wow. And you know what? You know what we're able to do. I mean, I've been doing this for a while. You have. Yeah, you know, we we've learned. You know, certain companies they're like everybody else. They have their preferences. You know, they have things that they will cover. Uh, you know, situations. You know, of pre-existing conditions that they'll cover that you know some other companies won't. Right. And and that's just you know we just learned that through the years. You know, I mean, you know the companies. You know what their underwriting guidelines are, and and you know what they will and won't take care of. So you know that's the big plus for us being an independent we know who does what and can can move people around but which is very important for that. us to know to deal with somebody like you that already knows what the issues are and and knows how to shop around and get us the best because i mean right now you know we got to buy groceries and we got to buy gas exactly. and you know we don't need a 200 right. some dollar supplement you know no nope. premium mm -hmm. So if, if if you can get you know it's like uh, just like buying gas for your car if you can get it for twenty five cents cheaper I think you're probably going to do that yeah <laughs> absolutely you yeah. can use that money somewhere else especially um, if it's for the same um, coverage mm -hmm. yes ma'am exactly the same coverage mm -hmm. exactly the same coverage uh, and of course there's not a there's not a cost to you for doing that you know. Um, and if for some reason you got turned down with one company, it doesn't affect anything that you have in play. So there's you know there's no risk to you for doing this. The the good news is you have the distinct possibility of being able to reduce your out of pocket costs, you know, a, a fair amount. Right. Take the time to to let us research that for you and and, and get you an answer. Well, as I say all the time, we need to go, when we get sick, we go to a professional, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, when, when our teeth hurt or we need to get our teeth cleaned, we go to a professional. So when, when you're handling your money and you're trying to figure out the best thing to do and the way to, to you know, to 
handle the Medicare and everything else with your money you need to go to somebody who knows um, how to help you and and yes. Cheryl you the good thing is you know it don't cost anybody anything to have a consultation with you true true we do that all the time yes uh, uh, and and also you know the services that we provide with these you know taking you to these different companies you know there's not a cost to you for doing that and and what you need to realize is if you're watching a commercial on tv and you decide to buy your medicare coverage from joe namath he, he's going to charge you the exact same thing I am. I mean, you know, there is no difference by you going, you know, directly to the company um, to, to get your, your coverage. It's the exact same price. The difference is you don't have an advocate in case you do run into some problems, somebody that can, you know, give you some help to get it straightened out. Yeah, do not. These people that call you every afternoon, whatever time yeah. they start, I know because they call my mother and she gets mm -hmm. so aggravated with them. But anyway, deal with somebody local. You have to deal with someone you know. You know, you have to deal with someone that when you have a problem, try finding those people if you have a question. They're gonna, you're gonna call there, and first of all, it's an 800 number. You can't get in. You gotta hold. You gotta hold, and then the person on the line is never gonna be the same person that you talked to the last time. They don't care about your personal situation. They don't know you. Deal with somebody in your community. You can find them. If something goes wrong, they can find you, Cheryl. They can say, hey, you know, I'm having a problem with this. Da da da, and you can you can help them deal with somebody you know, folks. That is so important. Not somebody from an 800 number that calls you. There's no customer service there whatsoever. Yeah, true. That is the truth. Uh, now, a second thing that we're seeing a lot of, and, and this yeah, you know, this is very important for everybody because you're going to spend probably the, your largest expense expenditure during your retirement years is going to be on prescriptions. I hate to say things like that, but it statistically is the, the fact. You're, You're right. You a huge amount of money on prescriptions. And the prescription plans have changed dramatically for 2025. So you really need to check what you have now. Make sure that even though it's perfect today, oh, make sure that on January 1 of 2025, it's still going to be perfect. Because the plans are changing, and I mean, my plan itself, um, you know, my prescription plan with Medicare was about ten dollars a month, and as of January one, it's going up to sixty-eight dollars a month. Right. So you know, I was able to look around, and I found you know what I needed to take care of what I had for. I think it was ended up being twenty-four dollars a month, something like that. So again, you know, I saved couple hundred dollars right there by just you know, doing my research and the good news that has happened with prescription plans is that there is a two thousand dollar a year cap on what you're going to have to spend on prescriptions for next year so you know if you were taking some things that were on the expensive side that may that that may give you you know a pretty good break well, that's good because some of those medicines now I'm hearing are just outrageous. Yes, they are. I mean, I've, I've run into that a lot. Um, and we don't want anybody terrible. that needs their medicine not to be able to afford and not to take their medicine. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. terrible. Yeah. So. Yes. So, and you know what we can literally do for somebody? Uh, we have a you know software program through. Uh, Medicare, Medicaid services that, you know, when I put in, I put in your prescriptions, like you're taking, you know, metformin and you're doing 25 milligrams once a day, you mm -hmm. know, put in that type of information. And then it tells us, you know, it gives us the 26 plans, top 26 plans that are, you're eligible for, you know, with your medications and it right. brings them by cost. You know, what, what, what is your out of pocket cost going to be? with this plan for next year. Right. They say you'll know what your premium is, what your monthly cost is going to be. You'll have all that information. Uh, and it's, so it is important. Please take a look at what you've 
guy. And if you're not sure what to do, call us again. We can do that for you. And, uh, you know, it, I normally I, I ask people to call in and, and bring us a copy of their prescriptions so that we have exactly, you know, what your information is. Right. And then it, it takes us a few days because we're backed up. I mean, there's just no getting around it. You know, right. we're behind. Yeah, well, that's a good it's thing. Oh, it's a volume. Mean, you know, I mean, it's just a lot of people are checking things out. Uh, right. And I've you know, got some new people coming in, so it takes a little bit of time to get them trained up right to sure. be able to do these things. But, uh, I mean, the prescription thing is important, so please, you know, take a look at what you've got or if you're taking care of, you know, elderly parents just like me. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Uh, it, it can, you know, save them some money. Because, I mean, I, I have had that. I'll be making a change on my dad's stuff this year, uh, for January. Right. Uh, you know, I was able to, I saw that what he had was not going to be as good, you know, come January. So we, you know, got him lined up for another plan to start. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. that, that's what's happening on the prescription drug plan front. And then I guess the last big thing that we're seeing there's a lot of changes in the Medicare Advantage plan. And, I mean, we've had quite a few folks calling in, you know, saying that, hey, I've been told, you know, I've got a letter that says my plan's not even going to be available after, you know, the end of the year. On January 1, it won't even be here. And, um, you know, it gives you, in those circumstances, you are given a little extra time to find a plan, but it's, you know, it's, it's not hard to find plans. I mean, it's, it's again, we have software programs that give us that information. Right. You know, through, through uh, CMS uh, programs. So there again, we can help you get that done because you don't want to be hanging out there without any coverage for, you know, a period of time because, sure. hey, if you end up in a hospital, you know, you don't, you don't want to be without coverage. If we, you're we without coverage for, sure. for two days, that's the two days you're going to end up yes. needing it. Yes. I mean, I can tell you that's how things work. But anyway, mm -hmm. Cheryl, you're having a seminar also. Yes, ma'am. Um, what day? Tuesday, December the 3rd. Right. Uh, but it's the first Tuesday in December, and it's, it's actually going to be um, in the, the, the building that you're in. Yes, it is. Right, right across the hall. Right campus. Um, and it's, I believe we're going to be starting at six in the evening. Okay. And, um, you know, it's just a, I call it Medicare 101. Yes. And, uh, we've done three of them so far and they're been well, well attended and, and, you know, people have liked, ended up, most of them ended up, you know, setting appointments with us for us to do some work for them. Do you want people to sign up ahead of time? Yes, ma'am. Please, please, please. Because it's okay. not a huge room. Get signed up, 316-8166. The numbers, yes, yes, the numbers on in, the screen. And, um, you know, leave, if you can't answer it, please leave us your you know, message, and we'll call you back and, and you know, get, you, get you enrolled in, in the, uh, get you a seat lined yes. up for, for the program. And we'll remind everybody of that date again several times mm -hmm. before it gets here. December 3rd, 6 o'clock, get signed up. Cheryl, thank you this morning for uh, enlightening us with this information, and we'll look forward to talking to you. I don't know if we'll talk to you in two weeks. Is that Thanksgiving? But, um, yeah, you're right. <laughs> sure but is. We'll still remind everybody yeah. um, what uh, the date is. Get signed up for this seminar, y'all, um, and come on out to the college uh, right here where we are, right across the hall in the conference room. So, um, Anyway, get signed up so you can learn everything you need to know so that you can get enrolled by December the 7th, correct? Okay. Thank you, Cheryl, for being with us this morning and giving us this information. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Sandra. Have Talk a great day. Okay. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay. Cheryl Braswell, your money, your life. We appreciate that information. We'll be right back with you right after this with Guess Who? Spook Joiner with the Rudy Theater.